Hi babe, good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. I actually just put the last vlog live and was reading some of your comments and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the kindness, love, and support regarding Penny. It has been a really tough week but I am surviving and having your love and support really means so much to me so thank you. As if everything I've been going through isn't enough, I woke up Monday sick and I was sick all week and I think it's because obviously it's that time of year but my body was just like run down I was exhausted and so I was quite literally on the couch all week <laughs> resting but thankfully I'm feeling better today just in time for Christmas today is Christmas Eve and you're probably like where's your mom what's going on are you going home for Christmas and yeah Christmas is looking a little different this year to be honest between everything with Penny and stuff I wasn't sure how that was all gonna happen. I have an international trip that I'm doing in January and there was talks of me possibly flying the dogs home to California to stay with my mom because if Penny was sick I didn't feel comfortable leaving her with anyone here other than my mom. Then things just started to obviously go south really quickly and I quite literally could not focus on anything else but that. So between poor planning and just like being really overwhelmed and everything just feeling like a complete whirlwind we have decided to postpone Christmas, my mom and I, and my boyfriend Archie is staying in town. And so we are doing Christmas together here in New York. And I sadly will not be with my mom, which this is the first Christmas I've ever spent not with family. So this is interesting, but we are focusing on all the things that we're grateful for and trying not to focus on all the things that have gone wrong. I feel like I've really been tested in the last few months and doing my best to just ride the waves. <laughs> I actually grew up in a household with divorced parents. So I'm kind of used to changing holidays around and holidays being kind of funky. So I'm a stranger to a different looking Christmas, if you will. I am usually always with at least one of my family members. And for the last, I don't even know how many years, I'm always with my mom. So I'm a little disappointed that we won't be spending Christmas together, but you know, this is life, nothing's perfect, things happen. I have a lot to be grateful for, one of which being my health. I'm so glad I'm feeling better. Luckily, it was just a cold. And again, I'm glad it's like cleared up by today, but I was not feeling good earlier this week. So we're focusing on the good because when you focus on the good, the good gets better. I get to spend time with my boyfriend. I get to FaceTime my mom. I have Bali. I have all of you to be grateful for. And we do have some friends that are in town that we're gonna spend time with. And we're just gonna make this a very special, different, looking unique Christmas. Speaking of my health, I have mentioned this more than a few times in the last few vlogs that I have been trying to refocus some of my energy on getting back into a healthy routine. I just feel like I've completely fallen off with my workouts, my wellness routines, yada yada. You know exactly why if you've been watching my vlogs. And one thing I've been doing is incorporating Gem Citrus Ginger Daily Essentials Bites. The Daily Essentials Bites from Gem are packed with 20 nutrient dense vitamins, minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, and superfoods to fill in the gaps in your daily nutrition. Because while I am a firm believer that I like to try to get all my vitamins and nutrients from the food that I eat, it's nearly impossible to do that just because our food is so over farmed. And a lot of these things you need to eat in abundance and that can be really difficult to do on a daily basis. When I was thinking about getting back into my wellness routine, I was trying to streamline my vitamins and supplements because when I take regular vitamins and supplements like in pill form, most of them make me super nauseous. And because I am not always hungry or I don't eat a substantial amount first thing in the morning, I will forego taking my vitamins in the morning and I'll take them later on in the day. But then as the day gets going, I forget to take them. And then before I know it, I'm out of my routine. So I've been thinking about how I can support myself in getting back into a healthy the wellness routine and I remember gem and I was like I love taking those I can take them on an empty stomach it doesn't make me nauseous they're made with whole foods all of my daily nutrition in one bite and I love that they take a holistic approach to health plus they are really really yummy and I personally would much rather eat something than swallow a pill they're science backed it's also worth noting that they taste amazing they've worked with a pastry chef to make sure that the texture and taste is just as good as all of the nutrients that you're gonna be getting 
in this little bite. And all of the whole foods ingredients in the Daily Essentials Bites from Gem have all been chosen for a purpose because together your body can more easily absorb them, which is another thing. It just is like having a little cookie, but it's not like overly sweet, it's chewy. Just like perfectly sweet. I'm just obsessed with it. it. Just makes my morning routine easier. Of course, as I always say, everybody's body is different. What everybody's body needs is gonna be different. And so your results from taking gem are going to be different. But the reasons I was excited and turned on to get back into gem is for one, take it on an empty stomach and it's like fun to eat. Also for hair, skin, and nails, because of the prebiotics, probiotics, biotin, and turmeric. Also energy and mood, which I definitely need help with right now. Thanks to the B vitamins, vitamin D3, and beta-glucan. They're also great for digestion and immunity, again, because of the prebiotics and probiotics, and they also contain zinc. And there is vitamin D and K2, which is great for brain and bone health. You know, so you're just getting it all in one bite. I've been taking it for the past couple of weeks and I have been loving it and I feel like you will too. Gem is actually offering 50% off your first month right now when you go to dailygem.com slash Shayla Quinn and use my code Shayla Quinn at checkout. I feel like you're really gonna love them. I am happy to be taking them again. And I feel like it's just made my morning routine so much easier. And I'm just grateful to be getting back in the groove of things to start feeling good again because life already is hard as it is and then on top of that for myself personally currently the grief comes in waves and we just don't need to make things harder for ourselves you know and i know for myself diving into my wellness routines and really committing to a daily wellness practice makes such a big difference for me physically and mentally i have been good on my celery juice i will say that much and my skin has been pretty good touch wood don't need to jinx anything right now oh my gosh it has been one thing after another but we're not we're not thinking about that it's christmas time it's a happy day we're gonna have an amazing day time to get into the spirit. For those of you asking, this little girl has been doing okay. She definitely feels it. We all are feeling it. How can we not? But we are doing the best we can. It is really sweet. She loves laying in this blanket that was Penny's. So I know she's missing her, but she's been doing okay. And we're just trying to get used to our new normal. I planned with my boyfriend in a little bit. We are going with some of our friends to go see the Christmas lights at Diker Heights in Brooklyn. I really wanted to go last year and I didn't make it. So this year we are making it happen. I had all these holiday plans this week and had to cancel them all because I was sick as you know. So no ice skating, no Christmas market, no Rockefeller Christmas tree, blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna keep whining on about it. We're doing what we can and we're turning things around. But that's not till a little later. For right now, I thought we could start to get into the spirit by making my pretzel bark that I love to make every year. Although I will be honest with you, I ate half the bag of pretzels already this week. And I'm not going to the store on Christmas Eve. So we might be making a small batch, but that's okay. I love doing this. I do this every Christmas. I make it with pretzels, vegan chocolate. This year I'm adding in some dried cranberries and pistachios and some vegan marshmallows. I know you're going to be seeing this after Christmas, so you might not really care about this, but I feel like this could be fun to make for any occasion, really. You can customize it with your ingredients and it's just super simple and it's a fun activity. Very easy to do. You literally spread out your ingredients on a parchment lined baking sheet, melt your chocolate, pour it over your ingredients, let it set and then break it up and enjoy. vibes going. My boyfriend is hosting a little Christmas lunch at his tomorrow, so we're gonna bake some cookies for that. if you watched my Christmas vlogs from last year, but this time last year, it was freezing. And somehow, yeah. I wasn't here, I was in Australia. He was not here, but 
I was here with my mom and it was so freaking cold and this year it's not that bad like no gloves and I'm fine got to celebrate the little wins you know although this one doesn't want to walk <laughs> The Christmas Queen. Where's her outfit? Oh my gosh, we got the cutest outfit for her. I gotta put it on her later. I forgot. Um, can we talk about these glasses that my boyfriend got us? I'm gonna make him wear the Christmas trees. <laughs> One on. <laughs> Guys, Merry Christmas to the Merry vlog. Christmas. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Merry Christmas. You should, you should have it running. Pick her up better. You're just so cute. I feel bad. Are you embarrassed? <laughs> you look so cute though. <laughs> there you go. Bought some bagels. Christmas bagels. Had a lovely little Christmas morning with my boyfriend this morning. We got bagels as you saw and then exchanged gifts. I got to FaceTime with my mom, which was so nice. And now I'm currently getting ready because I'm heading over to my boyfriend's for a little Christmas party. He's hosting an Australian themed Christmas lunch for those of us that are here in the city without family, which I think is about six of us. And we're kind of doing it potluck style. He's cooking a few things and then everyone's bringing a dish or to to share we have a little white elephant gift exchange we're gonna do which should be fun play some games hang out and have a little holiday day i made some vegan scalloped potatoes which need to bake and then i also made a little holiday salad with pomegranate seeds beets tomatoes cucumber baby spring mix and then i will drizzle it with some balsamic glaze and then i'm bringing some goat cheese for people that eat cheese they can sprinkle that on top it'll be really really yummy
feel like the time between Christmas and New Year's for people is typically the time where they relax, chill, do nothing. But since I've had such a rough month and I was sick, and I feel like I have not been able to concentrate on anything else but all of my challenges and problems. This time between Christmas and New Year's is a time for me to get my sh together because I am so tired of not feeling like myself. I'm tired of not being in routine and we're just, it's time. It's time to start feeling good and happy again. Booked a workout for today. I'm gonna get my nails done also. Thought today would be a good day to oil my hair as well, since I'm just gonna get sweaty and work out later. Yesterday ended up being really fun. It was definitely a different kind of Christmas, but it was really nice to be with people and celebrate amid the absolute most of it, and it ended up being really, really fun. So I'm feeling overall pretty good about Christmas. Now it's time to get back on my game. I will say I feel like my cold is completely gone today, which I I'm very grateful for. So I at least now feel like I am fully in a good position to get myself back to feeling good again. Because I would really like to set the tone for 2024 over the next few days. We just talk about happy coincidences slash signs from the universe that Penny is still very much a part of my life. I got my nails done for New Year's Eve and they're like this like really pretty gold color. I went to go look at the name of the color after I had already picked it. Penny. How good, love that. Having my boyfriend over for dinner, going to make a very easy vegan orzo recipe that he actually originally found on Instagram. I will link it below. It's just with orzo, tomatoes, basil, garlic, and a little bit of vegan bouillon. And I actually think I'm gonna add some spinach as well, just to add some extra greens to it. Very simple, very delicious, and very cheap to make. 